Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how I go about cleaning an engine bay. So today's engine bay is a very oily engine, which is in a serious need of a cleanup. We're gonna take it from this to this using just five key products that you can find at your local supermarket. So these are the products we'll be using to clean this engine bay. Uh, they're pretty simple and straightforward. The, fir the first is a dash silicon. So this is what we use to dress up our dashboard and into the plastics. Followed up by a brush that we need we normally use to sweep up the bees. And a paintbrush. You'll probably find it in one of your local hardware stores. Then the next is <laughs> it's basically a toilet brush, but uh, yeah, pretty cheap, cheaper than a, a world cleaner. And what I have in here is just your normal uh, degreaser that you can find at your normal uh, auto store. So before I get started on this engine bay, uh, by the way, the car that I'm currently cleaning is a VW Jetta. Um, I once made a video uh, on it. Uh, while I was cleaning the interior so the owner requested that I do his engine bay as well so yeah so here it is guys uh, as you guys can see the entire surface is covered in oil and some dust so by the looks of things it's never been cleaned before so it's it's got all sorts of dirt that's built up and you could tell that it's years and years of dirt uh, so yeah, so today's job is quite a, it's quite a, a long one. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, me transforming this engine bay and having it look uh, next to brand new again. I wouldn't say brand new, but look, it's as 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 good as it can it can get. So please enjoy and uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video and leave a comment. So here, I'm just going to quickly remove the battery and the intake. Um, just try to move, move as much things as possible in, that, are, that are in the way. And, yep. And I'm glad that I actually did. Look at it. Look at all the dead that I could have missed if I didn't have, if I didn't have removed those things. So, yeah. There we are. <laughs> Disgusting, eh? So, first things first, you want to divide your engine bay into three parts. Yep. So, the reason for this is that you want to clean a section at a time so that your degreaser doesn't dry up. And you also want to cover all the electrical components like the distributor, the alternator, and the spark plugs. You don't want any water dripping into those uh, components or else you, must, you might mess the car up or... Uh, cause a surge so prevention is better than cure so getting started in the first section i'm just going to spray on the degreaser and one thing to take note is that you want to work fast immediately after uh, applying the degrease onto the surface you want to get your brushes agitated as quickly as possible then get the dead off the surface with the pressure washer As you guys can see here, <laughs> forgot to cover up the alternator. However, before I start pressure washing, I'll make sure that it's covered.
the benefit of having a different sets of brushes is that um, you're able to get into those hard to reach areas and uh, you can ensure that you know each and every surface is actually touched and as the dead is actually lifted off While busy doing this section, I've got a question for you guys. What condition is your engine bay? And are you embarrassed to open it in front of people? Because I know a few people who don't, who never open their engine bays, whether they're at a filling station or not, they just prefer not to open it because they once told me that, it, that their engine bay looked terrible and they just didn't know what to do uh, about it. So. What condition is yours and have you ever detailed it before?
now that I'm done, uh, what you want to do here is that you want to get your microfiber towel, wipe uh, as much of the surface down, and you won't be able to get into those uh, hard to reach areas. However, what you can do is that you can take your vacuum cleaner, use it as a blower, and blow any excess water off the the the, the, the surface and uh, those hard to reach areas. Now the final stage is to dress up all the, 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 the plastics and the rubber. So what I'm going to use is the dash silicone that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video to dress up these um, uh, rubbers and plastics just to give them an, a nice uh, matte or semi gloss uh, look afterwards so that you know it just ensures that there's this engine bay pops.